Hi, <laughs> and welcome to <laughs> Wrong Way. And today we are going to show you how to set up a new EUC. One of Emotion, one Bigodi, one Kingsong S18. And sadly, we don't have a veteran Sherman today, but I'll tell you it's very simple how to set this wheel up. So let me tell you more about it and let's start writing. Wrong way. This video is sponsored by eWheels. I will s show you like the step-by-step -step process how to set up a new wheel that you have just bought and that just arrived in your doorstep. So first we'll open the wheels up, then we'll inspect them for any possible damage during transport. Then we'll move on how to disable transport mode in each of these wheels. We'll connect it to the app, and then we'll also try third-party apps like Darkness Bot and EUC World. And finally, I'll tell you how to inflate the tire, what is the right pressure for you, and possibly what pressure would be right for the suspension. Okay, let's get into it. We'll start with the Inmotion V8 here. Don't penetrate with the knife too deeply. That's what she said. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that would be painful. <clears throat> you can see the stuff that is inside the box. There's a charger. Always connect the charger into the wall plug first and then into the wheel. Charging time, of course, depends on the charger. It's written on the manufacturer's side. Paperwork and right wheel right away. This is the Emotion V8. And what a shiny sausage it is. Once the wheel is out, we can inspect if there's like any damage, any possible creaks, creases, but this one looks fine. Also make sure to not do that. Here we can also inspect the rim if it's fine. Here we can see the tire valve, this also looks fine. For example, on the veteran Sherman, you might also want to check if the tire is correctly aligned. If it's not correctly aligned, then you need to deflate it. Then you need to put some around the edge of the rim and the tire, and you need to then just like sort of massage it into place and then you can see if it's well aligned. With the smaller wheels, all the 16 inch wheels, 18 inch wheels, you should be fine, but with off-road tire on the Sherman, you might want to check on that. Now uh, that we inspected the wheel, it fell once, we know it's fine, and then we can turn it on, but oh well, it doesn't work because it's in transport mode. Transport mode is just a safety feature, so if the wheel would turn on in the box, it won't, you know, just uh, spin out of control for some reason. So now we need to get the phone. So now we go into the Emotion app. You have to have Bluetooth on. It's available for both iOS and Android. We search for the wheel. We see V8F and then we go into settings and then we go into transportation mode. And now the wheel should work. Turn it on again and now the wheel works. So right away in the settings of the app, you can see also more settings, I guess, for the wheel. There is a lock feature. You can adjust the max speed and you can also deactivate the speed clamp. So then you need to confirm and you can reach a higher speed. And the cool thing about the motion is that right away you can um, set the top speed of, uh, of the wheel. There's some parameters about volume of the uh, alarms in the wheel. Footboard sensitivity is essentially how quickly the wheel reacts to, to you riding on it. So if you have it at zero, it's like really wobbly. You can see it just wobbles around a lot. And if I increase it, now it's way less of that. So there is then a drive mode switch for commuting, off-roading. Off-roading is the bit more a soft mode where the wheel wobbles around a bit and commuting, it's way more responsive. Then we can also calibrate the wheel. So in the motion, when I uh, press turning and forwarding adjustment, you just need to hold on to the lift switch, press it in, in its most upright position, and then it's uh, selected. And when you turn the wheel, the pedals shouldn't go up and down. So if I would do it like this, then the pedals just will wobble around in your turns. So if you go, for example, right, the pedals will go up. If you go then left, the pedals will do go down. So it's the best to set up the calibration against the wall or possibly if you see it that it's very flat and like that. You can also adjust the horizontal tilt in the wheel. What happens then is the wheel will tilt in a certain angle and this is just an adjustment for 
your writing style. But that's basically it for the main settings. You can also check out my um, videos about Darkness Bot and EUC World. There's a more thorough uh, video about all the functions on wheels. So then if you have set up everything properly, if the transport mode is off, then you can also pump up the tire. Don't grab by the tire, by the way. Never grab by the tire because you might cut your fingers. So then we find the valve, which is of course on the other side. <laughs> and here right away, you can also see that some, somewhere here is the pressure. So maybe you can make a close up. Here it says 35 to 45 PSI. And you can set it up on your pump. So the heavier you are, the higher of a pressure you need. And if you have like a smaller wheel, which this is, for example, the 16 by 2.1 to 5, you will need a higher pressure than if you would have a 18 inch wheel or a wider 16 inch tire. It also takes some trial and error to see what pressure is right for you. Usually when you have a higher pressure, the wheel will not be that easy to ride. It will tend to train track a little and it might feel not that stable, but it's better for, you know, jumps, like going downstairs and some going up a curb. But with a lower pressure, it's better to, you will have more comfort, but it will be easier to damage the rim. Xiaomi pump, by the way, portable Xiaomi pump. So I see it's 27 PSI, we can select whatever, I guess 35, finito. Some wheels are, have really difficult access, so it's best to have some sort of hose like this to have it somewhat easier to, to, to put the valve in. You also receive these pads, these pads in the EV8F. You don't receive them in every wheel, but here you have to put them a, a bit above your ankle. So if I move essentially like here-ish. And I guess now you're ready to go with your brand new InMotion V8F. Okay, so <laughs> let me put the wheel into transport mode. <laughs> okay, so let's imagine I'm taking this brand new Bigotti EX out of the box. And let's not think about all these cracks I did before when riding. With the EX, all the steps I've shown in the... Oh, it's so heavy. <laughs> all the steps I've shown before are very similar. So check the wheel up to see if there's like any damage on the rim, if the tire is adjusted properly, if there's like no scratches. And I see no scratches at all here. And you also need to place the pads correctly. It's the best to place the pads when you have your foot on a foot plate, and then you can see what would be comfortable for you. So anyways, let's move on to transportation mode on the new Bigotti wheels. And to turn off transportation mode and the annoying beeping sound that is on these wheels, you need to press the lift switch and then you have to press five times on the on off button. Oh, now it worked, cool. And now we turn it on. And the monster is live. So now that the Bigodi is on, there's not really much you need to do with it. <laughs> you can essentially get just the Darkness Bot app or EUC World I talked about before, and you can set up all your, all your alarms, the top speed, etc etc i am not using the bigodi app for for this one i think they come up with a new one recently but i haven't tried it if you guys have tried it let me know in the comments if if you like it oh forgot about one thing if you have a wheel with suspension like the ex is you will need to also find out in, uh, in the user's manual. Oh no, wait, uh, Bigodi has no user's manual. You will need to find out in my video about the EX, how to pump up the, the EX. And you will also need to find out about, right, about the right pressure for it. Like it's a bit of a tedious process. So check out the other video I did on the EX thing unboxing. So you can then find out how to pump up the suspension. So now we move on to the King Song wheels, which I think are the most tedious to set up. Jump into it. Whew. Okay, so right away we are greeted with a user's manual. It's also in the Emotion V8F. We are greeted with a pump for the suspension and with a charging brick. Oh yeah, the King Song block. <laughs> oh, good memories. Here we have the wheel. Let's get it out. 
All right, so now that the wheel is out of the box, we do the usual checkup. Let's see if there's like any scratches, any dents, anything on the wheel. And let's see also about that rim, if it's fine. And it looks to be fine. Uh, now about the transport mode. So if you turn on the wheel, not working. Now we need to go into the Kingsong app. By the way, also in most of these apps, you need to log in to make any changes in the, in the software. So we'll need to create an account and in motion to access uh, your wheels. So yeah, it found the Kingsong S18, connect, unlock. Okay, confirm unlock, unlock. Okay, it's unlocked <laughs> and it works. And now the thing with King Song is that you will have still a speed limit for the first, I think, six or 10 kilometers on a wheel, depends on the wheel. So you'll not be able to go above, let's see what the speed is here, at 20 kilometers an hour. I can raise the tilt back to 33 apparently here, but I can't go faster. But the, and the top speed here is 50 kilometers an hour. So we need to actually ride slower for a longer time and then you can unlock the wheel, which is you know cool if you just started out with a wheel, but if you just upgrade it from a King Song to the next King Song, it's a bit annoying, but it's just you know six or 10 kilometers and then you can unlock the top speed. So in this app, there's also other features like on, on the in-motion wheel, which is riding mode, um, just the speed, the lighting control, all the other stuff uh, stock on the, King songs, the light also works automatically. So if I put my hand over the sensor, you can see the light turn on. It's pretty nifty. Boom. And the lights also turn on, like more lights turn on if you go faster. And other than that, it's all the features that you usually get on wheels, like locking the wheel, uh, like a sort of a horn. That's, that's basically it. The horizontal calibration, let's see how it works here. Okay, it works more like on the on the Godway wheels, you just need to turn on. Let's see. Okay, now I wait. I turn it on again. And now it's calibrated. So yeah, pretty similar like on the on the Godway wheels. All right, so I think like you also need to set up the suspension with the pump, but you will get actually a instruction manual and all the necessary sheets to uh, like what you, the correct pressure you would for you would be. So that's pretty straight, straightforward. Maybe one thing I forgot to tell you about is that uh, some wheels also do have speakers. Basically all the Bigode wheels now, uh, the Emotion V10F and the Kingsong 16X, 18XL, all the Kingsong except for the S18. And if you want to connect your phone to the Bluetooth speaker, on, on a wheel, you have to actually use a, a different Bluetooth connection to the wheel. So for Emotion, it's called usually Unicycle Audio. For Bigodi, you have Gotway Music, something, something, something. And for King Song, is it King Song Music? Yeah, it's King Song Music. If you want to connect your uh, phone to the Bluetooth speaker of the wheel, you need to create a separate uh, connection for that. All right, so now let's also check up uh, check out the other apps, EUC World and um, Darkness Bot. So I'll just uh, connect it to, to the Kingsong S18. Which the, the settings on the Darkness Bot app will also vary depending on the wheel. So it just depends basically on the wheel what you'll be able to change. You can see your battery percentage, all the usual things that you see also on the other apps. But in the settings, you can set up alarms phone vibration. If you want to see a full uh, tour of Darkness Bot, just check out my video linked here. To connect the wheel to Darkness Bot, you just have the, the options here on the first screen, press connect, Bluetooth has to be on. Very simple, very straightforward. Now we also can check out uh, EUC World. So EUC World is available for Android and Darkness Bot is available just for iOS. So to connect uh, to the King Song here, you have to press on the circle on the top, then Bluetooth, scanning for devices, and it should find the KSS18. Yep, it's here. What is the password? There is no password. 
And then the settings are here on the left side, uh, top speed, general settings, you know, all the usual stuff. If you want to see a full video about the EOC world, it's also linked here. Now there's also some small things that vary across wheels. For example, the battery indicators. There is the voltage indi indicator on Bigodi wheels. Um, on King Songs, except for the S18, well, actually this is the battery in the indicator on the S18, it's here. Uh, yeah, this thing sort of, but it's really sort of hard to see. But on the other, on the 16X, you can see uh, the battery on the side lighting. On uh, in motion wheels, there's always a battery indicator on the top of the wheel, which is really nice. So there's some small things that change uh, across the wheel, but once you know all this stuff in this video, you are ready to go out riding and smash it in the city, man. And if you're still here, leave a like on the video, subscribe to see more content like this. I'll see you in the next video. See you soon, and I need some water. <laughs>